It's with a heavy heart that we announce that WGWE will be shutting down operations and going off air March 31st. We greatly appreciate the business and personal relationships we've had with all of you in WGWE land, but tough business decisions have to be made because of the pandemic. We'll miss playing all your favorite classic hits, your requests, our fun contests, our live on location broadcasts, talking about our number one hits in history and being able to read all of your birthday and anniversary announcements. Thank you to our clients and especially to you, our listeners. And it's, again, changed my life. And there's this, I think we can all sit here, right? And we can think about the magic of radio. We all have had those moments in our life where radio has done something that we can't quite figure out. And when I took the full-time position, I got a taste of that magic again from this perspective almost immediately. Because when I took this job full-time, uh, my mentor in the maps and boundaries department uh, the lead surveyor there he was getting ready to retire and i said hey what do you want to hear and he asked for a couple songs and i said this one's go out to paul enjoy your retirement you've been doing this for 50 years and happy trails to you and put out some songs to him and everything and a couple months later he says you know i've been meaning to tell you about something that happened he says you you put those out you called me out by name and um and a high school sweetheart of mine, way back in the 60s, she happened to be listening. She's lived down south for decades and happened to be back up here. And she heard that. And, well, you know, we kind of rekindled a little bit of something. And, uh, you know, thank you so much for that. And that was that kind of first little bit of that magic, you know, where you think, wow, there's something profound going on with radio and the way that we interact and you know, I, I say it all the time. This is one of those things. I'm, I'm in a room by myself, but I'm there with you. And, you know, at times you don't feel like it's really a thing until uh, you mess up. <laughs> and then people are, are quick to point out that they're listening. But in all seriousness, I'm incredibly grateful once again to Smitty, to Chris, uh, to counsel and leadership. You know, they're believing in, in what I could bring to the table all these years, and I certainly tried to do my best to represent our communities the best way possible. And, and speaking about the magic of radio from the other perspective, uh, you know, on, on the tail end of this experience, some of the most meaningful calls that I've received here as people, well-wishers, call to say goodbye and things like that is uh, talking about their experience during the pandemic and how hard it was and I guess the kind of sense of normalcy that we gave to people in an otherwise kind of troubling and, and, and trying time, you know, just that consistency, the useful information. We didn't cram it down anybody's throats, you know, and, but we certainly recognize that responsibility as well. And uh, I'm grateful for the elders in our communities and their compliments are among the ones that I cherish the most. And I know how much it's meant to the elders to hear just little bits of Anunda Wakaka when I'm on the air. That's a big deal. That's a very, very big deal. And getting the calls from some of our neighbors and surrounding communities and uh, hearing them kind of say thank you. You know, we've been here our whole lives, but we didn't really know that there was that much going on with the Seneca Nation. It's been so educational. That's exactly the approach that I took to this job was to build those bridges. And I actually talk about those in my songs, too. You know, we got to be building those bridges because that's the only way we're going to make it out of this right now. So... Uh, we so nyawe to our ongwa gachi, our elders as well. Uh, and, you know, and I could go on and on. I'm, I'm fastly running out of time. I've already been on here seven minutes, and you're here for the tunes. So, uh, wow, it's been an incredible time. I thank you very much also to Cindy Scott and uh, seeing her love and passion of radio um, and, and working with her has been part of that educational experience as well. And I don't know who I'm going to talk to about lunch now. Miss B, and we had so much fun at the remotes, whether it be at the museum or at the Gary Rodeo or at the powwow, at the Namas. You know, we have so many memories. It was great for you to stop into the office and reminisce here one last time. And it was hard to kind of say us going gay. Once again, happy, uh, happy birthday. Look at that. Uh, happy 
happy days, happy times. Thankful for all of your support over these years and uh, uh, incredibly thankful for my family. You know, as I was saying, I took this job when we found out we were pregnant the second time. And uh, for for my my family, there's never been a time in, in my children's life where they haven't known the radio station. I'm glad that they're going to have some great memories hanging out here. I know I remember getting to hang out with my parents at work from time to time. And, you know, it's just so cool. Happy. Uh, also, in Yahweh, and last and certainly not least, to you, the listeners, once again, for making this little experiment what it was. And there are a lot of positives despite this shutdown happening um, at 10. So, again, we couldn't have done it without you. I think we all together truly made something unique and one of a kind, not just here, in all of North America. And that's the truth. And listen to Gyno. That's a silver lining for me. Um, you know, Gyno is syndicated. It has been picked up from our network, and it is going to be airing on stations through across the country, and more are picking it up as we speak. I'm excited to continue on that musical journey, and uh, there's a lot happening in the indigenous music scene. And, and obviously, the ultimate goal is that full integration over time, where that representation is there in the mainstream, and that's what we're working on. That's what I'm going to continue to work on. That's my dedication. Uh, my art has become my life, and all of this is intertwined. And again, it's been such an incredible time that I've, I've had here. I really don't even have enough time to uh, express all of my thoughts. But again, thank you so much for uh, tuning in from 1 to 5 every afternoon and, of course, all day, every day. We have plenty more programming coming your way before we officially sign off. And don't forget, uh, we do have a montage starting at about 9.45. Some special tunes and, and, and a few goodbyes from all of us as well. So it's not goodbye. This is truly Esconge. I, I'm, I'm grateful to be working with our community uh, in the media department as well. And um, we don't say goodbye around here. That's not what we say. We say, I'll see you again. So that's going gay. Thank you so much. Keep it tuned in. 60s at 6, 90s at 9. You're listening to 105.9 The Gway. You're listening to 105.9 WGWE FM, Little Valley, Cataraugus, Allegheny, Oil Spring. A Seneca Nation Media Enterprise. Yahweh. Here's your actual weather forecast. Well, the rest of today, the rain should continue with a high of 55, light northwest breeze. The rain will turn to a rain and snow mix later tonight, then snow possible in the overnight. With the low of 25, no significant accumulation expected. 60% chance for light snow showers Thursday. Highs in the low 30s. Snow showers Thursday night, low near 15. That's your actual weather forecast on Classic Hits 105.9 WGWE. It's with a heavy heart that we have to announce WGWE will be shutting down operations and going off air March 31st. Tough business decisions have to be made in this era of the pandemic, and this is not one that we took lightly. We greatly appreciate the business and personal relationships we've had with all of you over the years. We'll certainly miss the coverage of local high school sports, St. Bonaventure Athletics, Olean Oilers, our Santa Hotline, our Easter egg celebrations, our fun contests, summertime live remote broadcasts, coverage of local news, news notes and events from across the Seneca Nation, our business client relationships, and of course you, the listener. New York State has legalized recreational marijuana. I'm Justin Gould. That and more next in your WNY News Now radio update. For the last time on WGWE, I'm Dakota Hunter in the First Defense Weather Center. Rain and snow early, changing over to all snow overnight. Lows in the mid-20s. Snow showers will continue into Thursday. One to three inches of accumulation possible with highs in the lower 30s. Governor Andrew Cuomo has signed legislation legalizing recreational marijuana. The Senate voted 40 to 23 and the Assembly approved it 100 to 49 last night. The bill allows sales to people over the age of 21. Tax collections are projected to reach $350 million annually. Senator George Borrello was among lawmakers voting against it, saying as it stands, the law doesn't go far enough to crack down on an increase in impaired driving caused by the legislation. 
Jamestown City Council has approved an agreement with the city's police union to settle contract disputes. We have worked out an agreement covering the years 2018, 2019, and 2020, which will bring us up till 2021. That's Mayor Eddie Sunquist, who says the new contract includes retroactive raises for officers, as well as increased contributions to their health insurance plan. Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine is effective in adolescents. The pharmaceutical company saying clinical trials showed 100% efficiency in use ages 12 to 15. They plan to submit it to the Food and Drug Administration as soon as possible to expand the emergency use authorization. Even though these radio news updates are going away, you can stay up to date with local news from Chautauqua and Cattaraugus counties online at WNYNewsNow.com. Simply search WNY News Now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download and subscribe to breaking news. Push notifications. Our team of local journalists will keep you updated. For the final time on the airwaves, I'm Justin Gould on WGWE. You're listening to 105.9 WGWE FM, Little Valley, Cattaraugus, Allegheny, Oil Spring. A Seneca Nation media enterprise. Yahweh. As long as the moon shall rise, as long as the river flows, as long as the sun will shine. The grass shall grow. The Senecas are an Indian tribe of the Iroquois Nation. Down on the New York Pennsylvania line, you'll find their reservation. After the U.S. Revolution, Corn Platter was a chief. He told the tribe these men they could trust. That was his true belief. He went down to Independence Hall and there a treaty signed that promised peace with the USA and Indian rights combined. George Washington gave his signature, the government gave its hand. They said that now and forevermore that this was Indian land. As long as the moon shall rise. As long as the river flows, as long as the sun will shine, as long as the grass shall grow. On the Seneca Reservation, there is much sadness now. Washington's treaty has been broken, and there is no hope, no how. Across the Allegheny River, they're throwing up a dam. It will flood the Indian country, a proud day for Uncle Sam. It has broke the ancient treaty with a politician's grin. It will drown the Indian graveyards. Corn planter, can you swim? The earth is mother to the Senecas. They're trampling sacred ground. Change the mint green earth to black mud flats as honor hobbles down. As long as the moon shall rise. As long as the river The Iroquois Indians used to rule from Canada way south, but no one fears the Indians now and smiles a liar's mouth. The Senecas hired an expert 
to figure another sight, but the great good army engineers said that he had no right. Although he showed them another plan and showed them another way, they laughed in his face and said, no deal, Kinsua Dam is here to stay. Congress turned the Indians down, brushed off the Indians' plea, so the Senecas have renamed the dam. They call it Lake Perfidy. As long as, long as, the, moon as the moon shall rise, as the moon shall rise, as long as, long as the river, as the river flows, as the rivers flow, as long as the sun. Washington, Adams, and Kennedy now hear their pledges ring. The treaties are safe, we'll keep our word. But what is that gurgling? It's a backwater from Perfidy Lake. It's rising all the time. Over the homes and over the fields and over the promises fine. No boats will sail on Lake Perfidy. In winter it will fill. In summer it will be a swamp and all the fish will kill. But the government of the USA has corrected George's vow. The father of our country must be wrong. What's an Indian, anyhow? As long as the moon shall rise, look up. As long as the river flows, are you thirsty? As long as the sun will shine, my brother, are you warm? As long as the grass shall grow. It's with a heavy heart that we announce that WGWE will be shutting down operations and going off air March 31st. We greatly appreciate the business and personal relationships we have had with all of you in WGWE land. We'll miss playing all of your favorite classic hits, your request, our fun contest, our live on location broadcast, and being able to read all your community calendar announcements. Thank you to all our clients and especially to you, our listeners. Who cares about the clouds when we're together? Just sing a song and think about sunny weather. Happy trail. Tell me, me. Bum, 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 bum. 